Hi, my name is Ricky Shannon, Application Engineer for Trimex Solutions 3D Printing Team. And today I want to show you a brand new tool in GrabCAD Print that will help you shave large chunks of time off your FDM builds without sacrificing surface quality. So hold tight and we'll get going. So in the latest version of GrabCAD Print, we now have a new feature feature that allows us to do what we're going to call adaptive slicing. So let's first look at this part kind of traditionally set up. I've designed a part here that's symmetric against its uh, horizontal and vertical features. I did add a logo here, which isn't replicated here, but that won't matter in this case. And uh, what we're going to do is let's say that this part um, has some aesthetic qualities to it, so we decided we're going to slice it in seven thousandths. So I've gone ahead and already processed that, so let's show you what the 7,000 slice looks like. This particular part here is printed solid and we can see where 7,000 starts to kind of shine in the fact that we have narrower slice heights as we end up hitting some of these radiuses especially around this uh, this uh, bore hole that goes through here and across these fillets along this top surface and this transitional fillet here. The problem is though is that a lot of this part has flat surfaces on and areas that don't have um, these curvatures happening kind of in a, on a horizontal plane. So what we end up with is a lot of areas that don't benefit from the really nice uh, aesthetic appeal of 7,000s. And if we were to look at this part, we'd end up seeing that we have about a 9 hour and 3 minute build. However, using a new feature called Adaptive Slice, what we can actually do is we can set up a part so it doesn't have to just print with a consistent slice. We can actually modify them so they can print with different slice heights throughout the part. If I go to this other part that I've set up, exact same part here, but we'd see when we set up our tray, we could actually go from adaptive and we had the ability to choose constant if we wanted, which is what we've always been slicing at previously, but now we can choose adaptive. And when we do that, it's going to take our slice height that we choose and go in areas where it deems that there's an aesthetic benefit. It'll use the finer slice height, but as it gets to areas that are flatter, particular things on vertical surfaces, it's going to use the next coarser slice height. So in this case, it's going to slice some of these regions in ten thousandths, which will end up giving us a speed advantage. So let's go ahead and take a peek at... Um, at what this part will be. Make sure this is going to slice and solid to be comparable to the other one. We'll go ahead and do our slice preview here. And we now see when we look at this part that there's areas that are light green, which is what we're traditional seeing, but there's also these dark green areas. As we compare these, we'd see over here in our um, kind of our index of features that we can turn on and off is that we have ten thousandths and seven thousandths layers shown ten thousandths being the darker green and seven thousandths being the lighter. So as we sit here and we zoom in, we can actually see that we've changed and we're converting over from ten thousandths slicing into seven thousandths. So where it's necessary, and it happens roughly around a 20% angle, we end up going into that finer slice height to give us that aesthetic benefit. But anywhere where we don't have enough of kind of that that stair-stepping angle to really benefit from it, we end up printing in a coarser um, slice height. So we see this happen in regions around uh, these fillets on the top and around the top and bottom curvatures of the hole. We also see it occurring down here at this bottom fillet, and that bottom fillet causes it to, to carry over to this top, top surface here. The really nice thing here, though, is we have a part that's going to visually look almost identical to the previous part that was sliced in all seven thousandths. However, this particular part now is printed in uh, six hours and 41 minutes. That's uh, two hours and 24 minutes faster than the previous one, or about 34% uh, 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 faster than the previous print. So, the really nice feature here, really simple to do. There is some, some notable limitations here, and that's that you can only utilize one part on the tray uh, at a time. Makes sense with uh, multiple geometries that each one is going to need this varying slices in different places. Um, so, you know, that's a feature that we may never really see. However, I would anticipate here shortly that we'll end up being able to put duplicates of the same part on the tray at the same time. 
Another important thing to note is what machines this works on. The build tray that I'm working with here is for a Stratasys F370. Uh, this feature will work on the F270, the F370, the Fortis 380, the Fortis 450, and the Stratasys F900. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to uh, Trimex Application Engineering Team, and take care.